And as we gear up for Halloween, things are going to look a lot different this year because of the pandemic. News for Tucson's Frankie McLister is live at the Miranda Pumpkin Patch this morning. And uh, I expect we're going to see a lot of changes this season, Frankie. I'm glad you gave up on the slide. <laughs> After the story, we'll see if this one works better, Sean, than the last one oh, we boy. saw 20 minutes ago. But it's it's been really interesting learning about how area fall attractions are adapting with the pandemic. And here's what I found out about the slaughterhouse in here, the Miranda Pumpkin Patch. The big thing with uh, COVID in, 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 in attractions or events is you can't have a lot of people gather together. Well, a lot of people come here. And that is just not stopping Bobby Sutton from operating the slaughterhouse this year. So all this is new. Um, basically, it's part of our social distancing. It's their 15th year in Tucson, and this year, it's obviously like no other. We've combined everything into one giant haunted house. We used to have four haunted houses in Apocalypse. But that's not the only thing they've done. They say that they're doing more than required just to make visitors feel extra safe and comfortable. And a few things include time ticketing, a team strictly dedicated to sanitizing constantly, and of course, requiring masks for not only customers, but the actors too. So you might be asking, how exactly does that work? You won't know it's, it's a mask. It looks like a full face makeup, but it's actually a printed mask with the makeup above it. And people are going to really get a shock out of that. And another way that Slaughterhouse is adapting with the COVID-19 pandemic, they're lowering their pricing by at least 20% as they understand as a company that many people have been out of work this year due to COVID-19. And about 28 minutes north of there, the Marana Pumpkin Patch is doing much of the same. They've relocated attractions. Whoa! created longer queuing lines, placed hand sanitizers everywhere, they said. They're adding capacity on trains and trailers and more. We've spent a lot of money. I think at this point in time, I'm about into this, about $30,000 just added COVID costs. But one thing these attractions have in common is their feeling of obligation to be opened, to put a smile on those faces of the customers, especially ones who call their visit a tradition. What I've done here is to try as hard as I can to make this as safe as possible. And I can attest to this, Sean. I've been here all morning and you can tell the difference in this year and they are just doing simply all they can. Now, about 20 minutes ago here in Tucson today, we tried out one of their big slides, but it wasn't working out too well. This one, my photographer Andrew and I found and let's give it a try, okay? Ready? <laughs> Should we get a countdown? <laughs> Go! <laughs> How about that? Let's see, ah, much better, much better right here. I will send it back to you guys in the studio, Sean. Uh, Frankie, uh, both of these uh, attractions are going to need the community support. When do they open? Yeah, the Miranda Pumpkin Patch opens on Saturday, this Saturday, the very first day. That slide is definitely ready, as we just saw. And for the slaughterhouse, the legendary slaughterhouse down off of Grant and I-10, it opens today. But that location, you need to get all your tickets online. And they said that they've already seen a lot of sales for their online tickets. So. All right, good news. Check it out, folks. It's a lot of fun at the Pumpkin Patch. Uh, Frankie, maybe you should try the ponies next. Looks a little safer. <laughs> yeah, right.